Well, this experience with the Chroma console turned out to be a lot like the experience I had with the Microcosm, which I was very looking forward to. And when I got it and tried it for my application and the way that I like to do things, just didn't pan out while well, the Chroma console is pretty much the same. I'm just not feeling it. I don't think it's a lack of anything to do with the pedal. I think it's the way I work and like to do things. And one of the main things that I've noticed was there's a lot of overlap with the air effects inside of this box here, this MPC Live. Too much overlap for me to justify. I didn't even get a chance to really dive deep with this. I just know that to me, it's like a very oversimplified set of effects. With the right people, with the right person, musician, they're going to kill it with this little box. It's going to be the absolute best thing for them. But I've decided to pass it on, let someone else enjoy it. And at least I tried, right? Um, I would have really regretted not trying this out. But... For my purposes, it's just not what I wanted. I'm really going to dive deeper on... Whoops, got the light in the way. Dive deeper on the DP4 that you see here, this beautiful beast, and which has a... Uh, you can control an I, with an iPad now instead of going through parameters through the interface here. So it's supposed to be a lot more usable. I'm looking forward to getting that hooked up. And I'm also going to be focusing more on learning how to use the air and other effects on this box more. So yeah, I'm leaving it, leaving it at that. The Chroma console, Hologram did an amazing job. It's just not my cup of tea. Thanks for watching.